got him. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Get him, let's go. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Fishing with Norm YouTube channel, guys. Norm merch is finally here. I wanted to take a big thanks to you guys for always being there for my videos, liking, subscribing, commenting. We put a ton of work, a ton of resources into making these videos and just to see you guys there. And we, I, I swear we have probably the most positive community, especially in the fishing area on YouTube. I mean, it's just so awesome when we post it motivates us to even make more content for you guys because we see everything. So I genuinely appreciate every single one of you just for watching the videos, but uh, we're doing something a little bit extra special that I haven't seen in a merch drop yet. So uh, we have 500 jackets and 500 shirts. Show them the shirt real quick, Jason. So as you guys know, blue is like the color that I always wear. And then on the back, we designed a bass, which I thought was super cool. And I like how like minimalistic it is. I'm not a clothing designer. I just, I see what I like and I like it. Zay, you're really into fashion. Is that like- Do you know what? I, is that minimalistic? I just wrote the description on the website. Yeah. And the first thing I wrote down was, Minimalistic. Minimalistic? Yes, it looks so, so cool. So I think this is clean. I mean, you could wear this thing fishing. I mean, look at the back. Do you wear this to school? Uh, not to mention we were in the Bass Pro Shops parking lot yesterday and Jason was wearing the jacket and two girls came up to him and uh, complimented him. Will it get you the fishing honeys? It's pretty much guaranteed. A few things to go over because we're doing this first ever limited drop that's never coming back a different way than everybody else has done their drops. So we are doing a grand prize of five thousand dollars for those of you guys who've ever wanted to be in a fishing with norm challenge here is your chance so we got 500 shirts 500 hoodies every single dollar spent on the website is one entry and we're going to have bundles with a shirt and a jacket which is going to give you 10 bonus entries first place out of that winner which is going to be whoever catches the biggest fish in my fishing challenge is going to win five thousand dollars and the other two are going to win bait casters Google baits a ton of fishing gear so i just want to say all expenses paid an extra 10 bonus entries if you get a shirt and a hoodie under the bundle section you can get different sizes if you just want a shirt in a certain size and a hoodie in different sizes you can select different sizes for the bundle yeah it's super fun i can't wait to uh to beat three of you in fishing uh and show my fishing skills off if you ever think that you're better than me at fishing bring it that's all i gotta say also if you guys don't see your raffle like numbers it's all on our end so don't worry if you bought something and you think you didn't get raffle tickets uh to get into this every single dollar spent is a dollar entry and we see everything on our website so i really don't know what to expect so if you guys actually want this just be there when it drops i don't know if it's going to be on there for an hour or a week i have no clue we haven't done this before this is kind of like testing it because we want to do some cool stuff uh later on as well so did we say that we're shipping all these by ourselves too like this is all hand done all other merch is done like online like a lot of youtubers never even see their merch they just set it up on a website and it's gone like we got everything and every single order is going to be shipped out by either me or jason you, you know the, the first edition is a lot more valuable than the base set so all i'm saying is first edition it's, it's one and done listen normclothing.com 8 p.m eastern time please we have limited sizes and limited designs as well once they're gone they're never coming back so um if you want it Please go get it because I don't want a ton of people mad at me that they didn't get anything. Hey, yo, folks, what's going on? Welcome back to the Fishing with Norm YouTube channel. Guys, comment is popping up down below. Let's go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, leave a comment down below. For your chance to be next video's comment of the day. Today, we are here with the boys. Come here, boys. So we are here with uh, Dangling with Dev, Fishing with Yak Pack, and we have this uh, this thing around my neck that I ordered off the internet. Yeah, you just called me and you said, my you want to do something with electricity? You could die. You might go to the hospital. And I was like, yeah, yeah. Sure. So what this is, I don't know what this is. I saw it and I didn't know what it was, so I wanted it. It's a electronic fishing reel um, of some sort. So there's this big cord here with whatever this outlet is on it that we figured out when I got it, that we're going to have to do some surgery on this thing to make it work. So oh. do you want me to explain to you like what you just bought? Yeah, kind of. Okay, so let me show you this really quick, boys. Number one, you better subscribe and you better like this video because Norm is out here fishing with a freaking Marlin fishing reel. Do you understand that? People put like 4,000 yards of braid on this. They drop it 2,000 feet of water. They hook a Marlin and then they hit the button and it instantly starts reeling up from like 2,000 feet. This button right here? Yeah. Back in the day, I don't know how old this is. Maybe somebody in the comment section does. This is like a $3,000 fishing reel. No joke. Dang. Like not even a joke. And you said you got it for 300? Yeah. And so the thing is, <laughs> we don't have a plug that looks anything remotely no, like that. Not even close. Let me see. All right, I don't know if this is gonna happen for the video. This would be so sick if oh, it did though. <laughs> no, oh, it won't do it, bro. Man. I thought it did. 
That would have been I need nice. a new truck now, dude. So we have this battery right here that I got. Actually, Dakota Lithium sent me this too. So we just have a lot of things that came in the mail. Uh, we're going to try to somehow cut this rope. Carry a battery with our fishing No, this is what's going to happen. Somebody's <laughs> getting shocked. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. And we're going to be around water too. So. Oh, great. <laughs> we're basically just combining a lithium ion battery, $3,000 electronic fishing reel with a whole motor inside, three dudes who really don't know what they're doing, nice. and electricity. What a great combination to start off this Friday. I think it should be good. And on that note, this video is sponsored by Carl's Bait and Tackle. Huge shout out to Carl's for uh, sponsoring this video and supporting us and our antics. Guys, Carl's is having a members only sale. It ends this Monday. So when you're seeing this, it's probably going to be either Friday or Saturday. You got like a couple days. Use the link down below. Use my code too so you can save extra money. This time of year, you can be saving the most money on baits. This is where all of us buy our tackle. So, Members Week also, every yeah. $50 spent, you get $10 of in-store credit, so you technically only spend 40 That's dude. awesome. And yeah. if you are a member on Carl's Bait and Tackle, you guys know we love using uh, Guggen Baits. It's the cheapest place to buy Guggen Baits. I think it ends up being like $3.99 a pack or yeah, something like that. Yeah. So guys, for every $50 you spend on Carl's Bait and Tackle up until Monday, you get an extra $10 to spend and also a free gift, guys. And if you sign up right now, you get a free trial of the Carl's membership. So might as well go buy some tackle. It's the best time of year, like the next couple months yes, too. Dude. Get the Carl's membership now because I'm sure we're going to be having crazy Black Friday deals. Yep. Crazy Christmas deals. Like this is a couple months you want to be buying fishing tackles. So use the link at the top of the description. Yeah, let's go break this electronic reel apart. And, and let's see if try we can not make it to work. get yeah. electrocuted, please. That if we can make this work, we are honestly we should have gone to electricity school. You know, trade tradesmen, electric YouTube yeah. fishing, electrical school. Are we seriously gonna? We're, oh, Where do we put the wire cutters? You got them? Okay. All right. This so is not gonna be good. Here's this. You know, Norm never says what we're doing in videos. I didn't realize today we were gonna get electrocuted. So I also have no clue if this thing comes charged or not, guys. So we, you know, this video is very ill prepared for. All right. So what are you doing right now? Oh, yeah. Devin. Oh, yeah. Devin's just chopping away. Trying to use these old rusty cutters to get through it. Gosh dang it. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, well, we might be screwed already. Okay. Not using the proper cutters to get through this, but hey. Shock me, Daddy. Nothing we're doing today makes sense. There we go. All right, cool. That's, light, That's all. All right, so I'm literally just cutting the sheathing back to make the positive and negative wires accessible. And then we're literally just going to strip them with the wire strippers put them on the positive and negative terminals and then we're gonna press the button if it works it works if we die we die i mean i, I feel like this is just a terrible idea it's 100 percent. which is why work. it's such a good idea thank goodness this video is sponsored because we probably just ruined a three thousand dollar reel hey remember how i was telling you that you were like oh yeah red's positive black's always negative yeah, yeah look at that i was just there we got white and green so we got a 50 50 chance of not getting shot wait it was just no. real the real reverse we'll get a backlash basically if we do it wrong. <laughs> you imagine it just spits like a thousand yards of line just shit as fast as dude no you guys got a bit dude so uh my buddy mason big shout out to you mason sent me this on craigslist all the way across the united states literally just venmo the dude money and i said i need this hoping he would ship it and luckily it ended up at the house that's but a, that's something mason would do i swear like we completely already ruined it if somebody wanted to put it on their boat again so nah. kind of <laughs> we could, we could. duct tape it so guys we have cut this piece off right here which if you guys know what this could plug into i wonder if every boat like offshore boat has one of these plugs on it or bro, something i don't think so uh, the all the dudes I fish with down south in South Florida, like I've never seen a plug like. Does this plug into some sort of adapter that plugs into like what a wall plug would be? You see what I'm saying? That could have been but cool this... to say before we just cut it off. Oh, you want to just tell you, or you want to actually figure? No, it out? No, let him figure it out for oh, content. Oh gosh, because you really don't know which one's positive or negative. No, I have no clue. Okay, here you go. It's one of these two. This is the green is, what is grounding wire. Yeah, don't touch the green. No, green's fine. You can touch green. Which one of these goes oh, here and goes here? You're gonna put it in the hole and you're just gonna tighten this down. I think that should secure it in there. Well, this one has a black cap. I feel like I'm in one of those spy movies right now where I'm about to save. You're either gonna save or you're gonna blow everybody up. One of the two things is gonna happen. Again, 50-50 chance. You guys are standing right next to me too, so we're all done, so. The That's camera good. is about an uh, inch away from this thing, so the YouTube channel's game over. Game over. Wrong, oh, just man. touch one, you got it. Don't. Just go, dude. Wait, wait, how are you doing this? Don't do that. No. What do you mean? White's positive. <laughs> he said white's well, positive, you've been a fraud. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, cut that out. I thought you were an electrician. I thought you were like church. <laughs> when you apply power to this, yes. you don't want to short it out cuz then you just screwed everything. How do you, how do you sh how do you make it long then? <laughs> do we need safety goggles? I feel like this is not safe. What? The thing's finished. Oh, oh god, I got flashlights on. It. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that. I saw my life flash. <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay. No way. Okay, I have a question though. Why is it not spinning? Hold yeah. up. All right, come here. What the frick? Hang on. <laughs> We're out of juice. Oh, I 
We're out of juice. All right, let's get the 24 volt. Sorry, Mr. Electrician. So this is going to be the bad thing. Y'all are going to have to carry this. Just eat food. Oh, yeah, turbo mode. But, he, dude, is this thing broken? No wonder I got a $3,000 reel for 300 bucks. Yeah, we're going to need to take oh, this whole yeah, thing apart. So problem number one solved, guys. We figured out how to get power to the reel. We have the battery wrapped up with the wires. When you press this button right here, this big red button that's supposed to reel it, the problem is the spool isn't moving. So basically, I just bought a $300 reel that doesn't work. So we're going to try to take it apart and put it back together. So what do you know about taking electric reels apart? I don't. I didn't even know this existed until about last week. <laughs> Same. So <laughs> so guys, Devin is taking this whole entire reel apart. I feel like I should be helping. But it's like in you know in your science project where there's like one person who does all the work. That's what Devin's doing right now. Well, what do you so, think the problem is, man? So it's definitely not in here. I think it's this piece. So you can see that this gear actually does turn that. Gosh, Devin, if you fix this, we just got a free $3,000 reel. Well, 300, we just, <laughs> we're up, we're up 10, 10X. Don't, don't, don't play with me. Shoot. <laughs> no, I'm just getting so hyped. That doesn't make any sense, my guy. Do you try turning it on and off again? So the gears in the reel work, and obviously the gears here work, because this spins, but this little piece that connects them, when it's seated, here it's supposed to screw in but it's like broke off and it won't screw in it's driving me insane i'm not gonna lie the piece and it's already broken as is but we might be able to just make this thing spin yeah that's all which, it would be, just... which all it needs to do is spin <laughs> yeah my back i literally thought i was gonna order this we're gonna plug it in and it was just gonna work yes yeah, so that's kind of working it's just gotta it's just gotta catch man i'm so like optimistic man because i want to reel in a fish with this thing so bad like nobody's ever caught a bass on one of these like no shot yo i'm definitely asking for a refund <laughs> after this just trying to go slow oh, it's definitely gonna work now <laughs> Just broke actually as soon as you did that. It just needs to get one thread. Yeah. It's so stripped on the inside. You think though, they like... could fix the ace hardware? We just walk in with this real hey. This is not going in that. It's like stripped. Okay. So we didn't know how to fix it, so we we're like, let's go to ace hardware and see if they do. What do what are you thinking the odds of that thing ever working again is? I don't know, it doesn't look that bad, but then again, I don't have a die for it. I don't know. I'd say the best thing you could do now is get a wire brush and brush out the threads. I can't do anything about the inside of it. Patrick, I'm not gonna lie, I thought you were gonna solve all our problems, but it sounds like we're just some problems just aren't meant to be solved, you know. So guys, we're trying Teflon tape now. The problem is that all of these things, which I don't even know what these are, none of them fit the reel. So we got like a, a one in a million freaking, I don't even know. So we're gonna see if Teflon tape catches. It's like it's almost there, like it almost works. But if Patrick can't fix it, guys, we might just have to start a gaming channel or something. I don't know. I could see you can make up tutorials. Yeah, I think it's it's a good market. I knew we should have gone to Lowe's, man. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Man, Home Depot would have had this fixed like 20 minutes ago, dude. Patrick just gets really angry. <laughs> just throws he it. it. <laughs> he slings it across Ace. This is just a terrible question. What if we put like a quick dry something that we could just hope it holds? You can. You can do like JB Weld or something. JB Weld, bro. Yes, yeah. that will. Yes. That's what I was talking about. Yeah. So that's probably like an irreversible thing if we do that. So what are the odds that it actually works if we JB Weld it? Uh. <laughs> for the, at least like we just need it for a day. We just need to catch a fish on it. How much pressure is on it? Probably about half a pound half. size of the bass have been telling me, you know. I don't want to mislead you, you know. Plus JB Weld it. JB Plus Weld it. JB Weld, weld is the way. Magic. And you just put it in the hole and then mm -hmm. hope it sticks. That's usually what you do. Yeah. That's a real yeah. nice reel. It, you know, it, it will, will be. Maybe. It won't be, probably. Unless the JB Weld has anything to say about it. <laughs> We're leaving Ace with a Teflon tape and JV weld. If Patrick can't fix it, that tells me it's pretty much unfixable. So we're gonna try to weld it together. This has turned into a project I was not expecting to have. It just makes it that much more worth it. If we make it work, it's it's gonna have a story. This reel is gonna be epic. You wanna mix it, right? And when you mix it, you just make sure you mix it real, real good. All right, we're mixed. Where's the reel? Where's the thing? It smells oh, like- It smells so bad, dude. I just got a whiff of it too. <laughs> <laughs> Lord help us. And I hope this works. This might be an irreversible thing. Hey, we should put some Gorilla Glue on there too, just in case. Well, too late now. <laughs> All right, guys, it is now, um, probably two months later. So it's me and Yakpack. We've replaced Devin with Jason because he backlashes my reels less. Let me show you guys what's going on here. So a combination of super glue, some other formula that I didn't know that we had rubber to mix cement, together. Rubber cement. Uh, and JB Will. And so now when you turn it, it actually works. We have a battery we bought from Walmart. We have this reel that if you put the little exposed terminals on that the correct way, this will turn. So our plan, we want to catch one big fish on this thing. I don't know if it's going to break or not. So we're going to get some massive live bait. I just bought this cast net. Ugh. 
There's massive fish in here. The last time I actually went fishing here, we only got a fish for like 30 minutes and I caught two five pounders. So if we can get ourselves like a big bluegill, a big shiner. Yeah. What's the targeted species here? Bass. Bass. Okay. I want so, a oh, yeah, massive so we need bass on this So we need live bait, not cut bait. Gotcha. Yeah. I really hope this reel works. This has been months in the progress of making this thing. And I don't think anybody has ever hooked up an electric reel to a car battery made for a... Uh, 2016 through 2020 Honda Civic. Got my cast set. I think we're gonna go by that tree because we saw bait busting out here last time over there. So yeah. let's go give it a go. Jason, start throwing chunks of bagel in the water and we're gonna see if anything comes up to it. I'm gonna try a practice cast. I've never casted a cast set even within like three foot of the di diameter of this. This is massive. So guys, I would actually watch out. Oh, my arm's already cramping. Oh, a what a pancake, dude. Are you kidding me? Come on, we just need one in here. <laughs> Brings in a 10 pound bass. Come and on, not something. Dude, not one. That's the problem is it's so cold out. I feel like those bait fish are like on just brush piles out deep. Preferably they were schooling up here on shiners, but if we got like a big bluegill too, I think that would work. It's a far cast, man. Let's see if we can do it. Let me throw her. Kind, kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of. Come on, baby. I think I saw something in there. Come on. Oh, oh, cast that is so dirty. Yes, no, that's the weight. Come on. I had to get something, dude. You're kidding. That's life. When life gives you lemons. You squeeze them. You squeeze them. <laughs> that might almost be too big. Yak pack. Can you get the uh, the bucket? All right, Yak Pack's on his way to get his bucket. I, I cast netted like this massive. I think it's either like a sunfish or a bluegill. Maybe a brim. Dude, that is big bass candy right there, man. It's so big that I'm afraid that it might not catch anything. But if something bites this, it's going to be massive. So I'm going to hold him in the water. Ladies and gentlemen, we got them. Finally coming together. As long as the reel works, this could be good. Two and a half months in the making. We are finally ready to get the electric reel the battery powered reel, it's first cast. So let me show you guys the rig that we got going on right now. So we got a $5 Walmart rod. This thing was the cheapest thing we could find. It was also the biggest because it needed to fit this massive reel. We have attached this tiny piece with all the different types of glue and it's, you know, barely cranking. So it's even moving a little bit. So I think we're gonna be good for like one big fish. We have an 80 pound braid on that's a year old. It's been on my frogging combo because we yeah. forgot line. Yeah. And then at the end of the fishing rod, we have ourselves the bobber and I gave it about two foot. I'm actually gonna shorten this to probably say a foot. I feel like if a bait fish is kind of struggling up top, kind of draw those big ones up. So probably about a foot of leader there with a little uh, size two hook. So super tiny on here. I was honestly expecting to catch shiners, but we got two massive bluegill, Jason bluegill me my guy so we have hooked them right behind the spine this is gonna let them swim the freest and also make them live the longest if you hook them through the mouth they can die quicker we're gonna try to throw this thing out here because i don't know oh, if we're gonna boy. be able to cast it so i'm gonna run the line this way oh, <laughs> this wow. is a problem that these reels were designed to drop the bait straight down but instead uh we're fishing on the bank so obviously we can't do that this is designed for thousands of foot in the ocean then we're fishing eight foot in a pond it's gonna be bad you got it go ahead hang on it? don't go no, no 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 i'm gonna give you some slack because it's gonna be bad bad It's out there. <laughs> I mean, that kind of worked. And hopefully he'll swim around. We've seen big bass cruising when we were cast netting. Oh, it's not a good day to be a bluegill on the end of a battery powered fishing reel. Yak yeah, can you push the button? Oh, it's sparking. It's sparking. Yeah, so, it's sparking good. Well, yeah, don't reel it in all the way yet. Uh -huh. So whenever a fish bites, one of us is going to have to hold these here. The other one's going to have to reel on the fish. Now we wait for that bluegill to go under and a big bass to eat it. Let's just go normal bass fishing in the meantime, because live bait fishing is gonna be sitting here for a while. Let's try to catch some bass while we're waiting. So, Zade is on bobber duty. So Zade is gonna be watching the bobber, and then Jason, Yak Pack, and myself are gonna go do a little bit of fishing while we wait for this thing to go under. We've seen some big ones roam in the bank. I would really love to catch a couple big ones today. That would be nuts, but Zade, keep a sharp eye on that bobber. He's so lively. Look, he's, he's literally just went under again. It's a small bobber on there, so he might go up and down a few. Look, he just went down again. So he's strong enough to pull the bobber down. Look, it went under a dude. He is so scared right there. I feel like as soon as I walk over here, he's just gonna get slammed by a big bass. Look at him, look at him, look at him moving. He's moving away from something, dude. I bet there's bass under him right now. They're just debating whether they should spare him or not. I think it's gonna happen, guys, I do. As soon as I keep walking away, he starts moving again. Dude, he just went under again. <laughs> 
All right, guys, so we've kind of split up, which is actually very dangerous. If that bobber goes under, he's still bouncing up and down right now. Um, we need two people to work this electronic reel, and we're all scattered across the pond. But uh, I'm working the shady bank right here with a ton of trees on it, and last time we were here, we caught so many off of this tree. There's a ton of shadow out there, so I tied on like literally just a weightless fluke, a perfect like end of fall uh, lure is the fluke. I mean, you just can't beat it so i'm feeling very confident right now and that bluegill i don't know if it's in the right spot or not but i feel like if a big bass sees it just struggling he's gonna eat it so i feel like i just got vibes that we're gonna catch something big oh my gosh the cows are running to me no stop Stop. Why did they all start running towards me? I do not like that. Oh, look at all the bait, dude. Oh, yeah, there's tons. I'm gonna have to come over here and try to catch a shiner to put on that hook. Caught a fish right here last time. Oh, top water. He missed it. Got it that time. <laughs> that was crazy. Yes. Dude, freaking nailed it twice. That was nuts. All right, first fish. <laughs> he was hungry. Dude, he, he came after it two times, man. Let's go. The two time back to back champ. All right, guys, check that out. First one freaking nailed top water twice. I'm going to get him back because he freaking he ate that fluke. Freaking took it down the guzzle. All right, buddy. I'll see ya. Boom, <laughs> hit it top water too. I was really kind of quick off, across the top. A ton of vegetation down there and uh, he nailed it. Missed it the first time, came back a second time. Made sure he got it. Unless that was multiple fish right there. There we go, fish number one. Oh, I got one. Got him. <laughs> there we go. Oh, it's not a bad one either. Oh, dude, it's a nice one. Yes. <laughs> there we go, man. That's like a four and a half. Guys, check that out. She's a little dirty. I had to give her the old boat flip, but probably, I mean, that's a solid, you know, three and a half pounder, maybe a four pounder. That is a chunky, healthy fish. First bite, actually, I put a bullet weight on. My fluke, I noticed I had a couple followers and it just wasn't sinking fast enough. So I put a bullet weight on here, dragging it on the bottom. Got the tank, man. That was awesome, right by that down tree. They just eat shad there, I've noticed, uh, from my one time being out here. Thick boy. Thick boy. All right, we're gonna we're we're gonna let her go. Let her grow, dude. We might need to bring our rod over here by this tree. If we go one more bite here, we're gonna bring the electric rod over. But uh, guys, there we go. We're gonna let this big one go. They live longer when they're out in the cold like this too, right? Yeah, this. Like they can stand it longer than being held in the summer fall. Yeah. Let her go, let her grow. Jeez, that was a chunky fish, man. That was all day, four, four and some change. Fish bumps eight. All right, we just gotta have one bite that electric reel. Just keep waiting. All right, you ready? Hood up or down? Oh my gosh. Oh, dude, dude. <laughs> no way. <laughs> my GoPro's on. <laughs> oh, oh, I don't know what to do, Norman. All right, all right, all right. Oh, no, it's uh, Okay. Oh, we almost spooled us. I wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry. I don't know what to do. Um, I wasn't paying attention. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Wait. Oh, really? Wait, dude, where's the, where's the attachment? Oh, it's broke. <laughs> Bro. Wait, put it on. Put it on. Put it no. on. No. We on. can't. We can't. We need it. He's still on there. Oh, oh, here we go. Go, go, go. Hold on. Oh, gosh. This is Ready? Go. What you do? What you do? Go. Go. Oh, go. Why is it not go. working? I don't know. Switch him around. Wait, wait. What did you know. do? What did it? No, it's, this is how it goes. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Here he goes. Touch it, touch it. Oh, my bad, my bad. We're on high for speed. Oh, it's moving. Look, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. It's saying, look at the bobber. Look, it's coming this way. Oh, 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 it broke. Dude, the piece oh, came off. Oh, we broke right, it. Just, we broke just go, go, go. Here, here, here. I got you, I got you, I got you. Oh, my gosh. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to do, Norm. Oh 
No way, dude. Oh! <laughs> dude, I looked up. I'm out. Look. I looked up. I was over there casting trying. I was like, alright, we're gonna catch some sunset fish over there, which I didn't. But I look over and your bobber's like literally like your bobber's yeeting across the lake. I can't believe that. Got here, can I hold him? <laughs> yes, you're fit. I, well, whose fish is it? That was a team effort. A uh, team fish. That's a thick boy, dude. That's ever a bit of. That's a YouTube six all day. My heart is pounding right now. I look over and I seen your bobber and I seen your rod tip doing this. And instantly I was like, okay, catfish. Not a catfish. No Definitely more. the best freaking bass of the day. Like, Wait here, hold up my most army. <sighs> Hello. Hey, look what we just caught. <laughs> Wait, hold him up, yak back. <laughs> oh yeah. Look on a. Uh, Electric fishing reel that's connected to a car battery that broke while we were reeling it in. <laughs> oh, we remember to scale the, the right thing here. that we didn't remember. Yeah, it's the Yakpak's eyes are the scale. No, we have a scale, but it's broken. That's a thick fish. Look at this. Oh, probably three and a half pounds. Oh, my mom called oh. me. I had to show her. Right here, I'm, I'm gonna let him go real quick because I don't want to hold a fish yeah, on the water yeah, yeah. too long. But a uh, beautiful bass. Let's go, dude. We were scrapping the video and we were getting like, uh, you know, golden hour. We were getting them golden hour shots of hey, me and my I, I, I ain't gonna lie, I took some selfies for the gram. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> we kinda, I've kind of forgot about the bluegill. I thought I thought it was dead. So the piece that we glued in is gone. It yeah. fell off, so we had to hand line it, but the battery and the motor worked. It was just that piece. Oh. I'm so happy that happened. We have spent two and a half months trying this and we were just getting shots for the, for the website. We're, we've been out here for like six hours. And nothing's really happened. You know what that is, dude? That's that's the definition of a last cast fish. Like we were, I was 30 seconds yeah. from walking my way around the pond back to the truck to leave. We talk about this all the time. I feel like the fish know the trouble that we go through to catch them. So at the last second where everybody else would have gave up, they just bite. Um, I'm never doing this challenge again. So I hope you guys liked this one and enjoyed it, but it's never coming back. This was so <laughs> much effort. Unless I can find an actual functioning one. Then maybe it'll I come think back. Saltwater edition, pure fishing edition with this. Uh, let's do how many likes you got back? Uh, 7,320. You guys heard the man? I'll buy another one. These things are like thousands of dollars in working condition. So uh, be prepared for the merch drop. It's coming out December 1st, 8 p.m. Eastern time. Listen, normclothing.com, 8 p.m. Eastern time. Please, we have limited sizes and limited designs as well. Once they're gone, they're never coming back. So um, if you want it, Please go get it because I don't want a ton of people mad at me that they didn't get anything.